about law. Law is not what you think it is. Law is power. Make the why one elitist, hypocritical, privileged group. It is not democratic made it up. It is elitist. Some laws are good, some are very bad. And if you ask me, if one law is not justifiable, he should be, must be, he must be replaced and abolished, exterminated. Changed. Laws like the Argag laws, how protect animal agriculture from expulsion, are laws like such, just like the ones how protect slave masters in the 19th century America from prostitution and execution for their crimes. You know, in the time of South Africa. Apartheid, South Africa, to be precisely. It was impossible for a um, white man to rape a um, black woman, according to the law, since black women cannot be raped, according to the law in that time. Also, until a couple of couple of years ago, less than twenty years ago, and so far now in America. A husband can not legally rape his uh, spouse. Sounds insane to me, but it is the truth. Laws are a symbol of power. Laws are not a symbol of righteousness. In America, in the time before blacks have got their rights, before the beginning of the 20th century were considered just one fifth of a person. A person in that time was the word used for the lowest member of the free man. Before women get the rights started around the 1900s. 80, 90, but in some places in the West and Europe, America, this even has gone up to the 1950s, 1960s, sometimes even. So it does not. They have not get their rights all around to vote, for example. And before that, women were often legally considered a half of a person and the half of a man, of her husband, to be precisely. So don't come over to me that law have any logical or moral viral in a discussion about if animals are living uh, living beings and not living things or not living things that mindset is quite frankly uh, totally insane and is my argument for my claim that law does not mean justice but law and precisely the law book in many ways is not more than a religion's artifact. And the people who enforce their laws, in the lower part, the police force, in the higher part, the lawyers and the judges, are nothing more than the templars and the knights of the religion's orders, of the popes. I suggest that uh, our 
blow system have to be completely rewritten and bring one consistent law for all countries. Not written by only a select group and approved by only a select group of rich elitist families or presidents, but actually written and read by all living sentient beings of their society and the ones who don't can read it because of learning disabilities or their mental capacities in other ways, for example, they don't belong to our species, should have one representative. We need to have one non-anthropocentric, non-homo-superbia-centric law system. I be mean not for that we have to give and all animals the same amount of rights and the same rights that we most of the time get. I suggest that we give them a fair and honest life standards that will protect their rights to be live, to be not tormented and exploited by us. That's the least we can do. And respect their rights to live on the ground there are born. The animals are the true owners of the rainforests. The fishes are the true owners of the ocean. This earth belongs to all earthlings, not just to one self-deluded and morally bankrupt and hypocrisy. Insane. Honestly, a group of naked apes who call themselves so ironically Homo sabia, which means the wise man, since Homo sapien means the wise, Homo superbia means the proud man, extremely blinded by arrogance and proud. We claim that we are the most wise and most noble species on the planet. There's also the reason we call ourselves humans. If you look to the etymology of the words, you can easily see that this is also a sign of our collected psychosis and arrogance. Since the word human comes from the word humans, which means with mercy, with compassion and decency, basically. Before the 19th century, the words were interchangeable of humane and humor. So, it is time that we step into reality, people. Stop playing political games. It is time that we are rational. And that we stop constant appealing to arbitrary fallacies. For example, the straw man fallacy. Or the appeal to status quo fallacy, or the appeal to the state fallacy, or appeal to social contract, etc, etc. If you claim that you deserve rights, then you should also give that to innocent living beings who have nothing harmed you ever in your whole life. This means you must go vegan. And if there are not so much vegan alternatives for animal meat or cheese from cows or goats in your country, then I have good news for you. You don't have to eat that stuff. You can be a vegan eating potatoes, rice and lentils and fruit. The most cheapest things you can eat most of the time. So stop making excuses. Stop being a carnist. Animals are not made for us. And they don't exist for us. They exist for their own reasons. Like women don't exist for men and their lusts. Just like blacks 
in America and in the West does not exist for white men to make money of. Just like whites also don't exist for Arabs to be exploited. Please, people, if you are not the victim, then don't imagine it entirely from your point of view. Because if you are not the victim, it becomes pretty easily to mock your victims, label them as stupid and dirty, put them down, say that their life don't matter at all, mock their entire existence and anybody who stands up for their rights. But when you are the victim, or you speak up for the victims, mate, things look a lot different from that angle. And that's only what vegans want to show you. Vegans are not the arrogant one. At least, I consider speaking up for oppressed groups of living beings not to be arrogant. And animals are sensuous aware creatures. Check out the Cambridge uh, Declaration of Consciousness for your information. <sighs> Rene Descartes was a fucking moron for claiming that animals are not thinking automatons. He was a low, low life, brainless, over viral crazy guy who's pimped up to look like a philosopher when he in reality was just a crazy sexist racist guy and if you truly want to know philosophy you can check out my videos or you can check out the work of Schopenhauer, I was far wiser than René Descartes, or maybe the work of um, his counterpart Voltaire in his letter or short story called The Machinerist. To quote him. It seems to me that man have lost all forms of natural intelligence to dare to advance that animals are not more than unmanaged machines. It appears to me that such people have nothing much with attention the character of animals. To see them suffer, to see them happy. It seems to me very strange that he cannot show the characteristics that their dudes not have. And he was completely right, since we now know that animals are aware. And how can there uh, not be? If they're flying a fifth formation, like many birds do, if they try to locate water when they're thirsty, and food when they are hungry, if they try to find shelter when they are, are raining or hide when they not want to be seen, that's all rational behavior. Just a uh, hominid animal. How is the most of the time spending his time not thinking and just following commands? Seems to me that we are the most sarcastic living creature on the planet. People claim that they have to eat animals to survive, when that is absolutely rubbish and it is destroying the planet. It is a fact. You can deny it, but then you are just as ignorant and intolerant to facts as Donald Trump with his uh, Chinese make up the lies of uh, the climate so to try to do, destroy the American economy or something like that it's kind of uh, idiocracy idiotic psychotic things he believes I think Donald Trump is uh, 
ready to be sent to a mental asylum if you want to be honest that's what I think if you don't agree prove it I'd like to see you prove that Donald Trump is not ready to be sent to a mental asylum with until that I say check out you are so beloved human rights and pay a special attention to article 10 freedom of uh, freedom of speech and opinions I do not have make that laws up you people have done the rich elite suckers the hypocrites the pasts Please, people, awaken and go vegan. There's no excuse against veganism. Sorry. And there's also no excuse against giving animals the rights they deserve, that they're a hub. I respect that for how those living beings are. Man in America. We're afraid that when women get the rights and not being treated anymore like second death class citizens, their rights being taken away and they are being favored last. Whites in the West were afraid that when black people, how they're considered shuttle get their rights white people are become very much viewed lesser and society collapse and their life will be completely worthless heterosexuals are afraid that when homosexuals get their rights to marry society collapse and their life will be defiled and carnists are afraid that when animals are not seen anymore like stupid unlaminate objects by our psychotic cult you prefer to call society, their life will be devoured and their society will collapse. But we all know that all of those things are stupid lame excuses and therefore check your privileged asses and step in the reality must always a small group of enlightened folk pr explain to the masses why there are a bunch of whiners self-entitled a little overprivileged oppressive narrow-minded thugs and why there should change to be not learned such abominations it will be fine for once if anybody don't become so passive aggressive and start to understand that no living being no living creature wants to be turned in a commodity can we please evolve and give all living beings fair treatment and not turn them into commodities and cause the least amount of harm possible in this planet stop making excuses and go vegan and speak up for the oppressed living innocent non-hominid animals I hope you like my video. When darkness and light become wrong, the reality splits away and the truth become visible.